Has Blue Atlas come out with another hit with Bountiful? Let's review this and find out. Hey, what's going on? Fragrance Hunter here and welcome back to the channel where I upload weekly fragrance content so you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow me over on my IG page. So today we are reviewing the newest fragrance from Blue Atlas and we all know Blue Atlas from their first fragrance Atlantis which actually got a ton of attention and hype. I did review that one. It was a decent launch but I wasn't necessarily blown away by it because it actually did kind of remind me of Louis Vuitton's Pacific Chill with that very fruity apricot. And we all know that's one of my least favorite Louis Vuitton. So it just goes to show you right there. But with the new Bountiful guys, this is a completely different take than what they first did with Atlantis. I also do want to mention that this was sent over by Blue Atlas. Of course, that's not going to change my opinions on this at all. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And it's as simple as that, guys. I'm definitely excited to be bringing this review for you guys because I know a lot of people have been asking about this one and the review is finally here. But before we go ahead and talk about this fragrance, let's go with some information. So this was, of course, launched in 2024. It just came out maybe a month or so ago at the time of this recording. The retail price on the only size I believe these come in, which is the 100 ml, is going to set you back $100, which actually... That's a very fair price for basically any fragrance on the market. You really cannot go wrong for getting a 100ml bottle for $100 at retail. And I believe they do run discounts here and there. So if you do want to get your hands on this, check out their website. They might have a discount going. The concentration with Bountiful is an Eau de Parfum. So you are getting a pretty highly concentrated fragrance, obviously over an Eau de Cologne and an Eau de Toilette, but a little bit less than something like an Extrait. Still a very potent concentration with an EDP. The perfumer, I did do some research, but I came up short and I don't know who exactly made Bountiful, so it is unknown as of now. With all the information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with Blue Atlas's Bountiful now. So take a look at the box. It does come in this nice navy blue box. It is cardboard, nothing really going on on the front or the sides. On this side though, you do have Blue Atlas, Bountiful, and some information. On the back, you do have some of your ingredients, barcode to authenticate your product to see when it was produced. There's probably a batch code. And then it opens up like so with a magnet, which is nice. And your bottle is housed in this kind of foam cutout. Very secure. So let's look at the bottle now. All right. So looking at the bottle, you do have the same color scheme as the box with that navy blue. And it is see-through on it. If you put it up to a light, you can't see through the juice. So you can see your level, which is nice. Blue Atlas, the BA embossed in the glass, a bountiful. On the bottom this time you actually do have a sticker. I know Atlantis came up with nothing on the bottom as well as a batch coat which is a nice touch. Nothing on the back, nothing on the top, nothing inside the cap, nothing on the atomizer but these are magnetic. Unfortunately guys if you do get a bottle though do not pick it up by the magnet because these are the highest quality and aren't the strongest so just be careful with that. So that is the bottle presentation. In the top you have pink pepper, lemon, and bergamot. In the mid you have oak moss, tree resin, sandalwood and cardamom in the base you have hyacinth, patchouli cedarwood vetiver and musk and this will be classified as a citrus woody so let's spray this and test out these atomizers very nice atomizer on here i have to give blue atlas credit for that it is pressurized which is always nice so let's go ahead and remind myself of the newest bountiful release so right away, when you smell Bountiful, it's the polar opposite to their first Atlantis launch, which is a very fruity, kind of youthful fragrance. This, though, opens very, very citrusy and sparkling from that kind of combination of the lemon and the bergamot. And honestly, it comes across smelling extremely high quality, which is always nice. It doesn't necessarily smell synthetic or anything like that, which is good. And it's just so refreshing when you first spray this fragrance on. Now the lemon and the bergamot are combined with this very warm, spicy pink pepper note. And I know pink pepper has become very, very popular in fragrances, especially men's fragrances lately. But I do think it is a nice added touch in the opening that kind of balances out that very like ultra zesty opening with the citruses and kind of brings a nice spicy undertone initially. This fragrance does just like ooze confidence when you spray it on and you walk around knowing you smell good and 
You're just gonna feel better about yourself when you're wearing this fragrance. And I think it's just because of that very crowd pleasing opening right away. Once you start making your way into the mid, which does come fairly quick, you are gonna be greeted with this very floral herbaceous kind of a uh, thing going on. And that's primarily coming from that high end. Now, I know that note is listed in the base, but it turns floral once it hits the mid to my nose. Hyanth is a very unique floral. Like I said, it does smell very green, earthy, herbaceous, and I don't usually see that floral used in a lot of fragrances. So I kind of like that added unique touch going on with Bountiful when it comes to the florals. And it isn't like an over powdery kind of a take on a floral either. It's not really like a white floral, which a lot of times can rub me the wrong way. So thankfully it's not that. It's more so like a green kind of earthy floral touch. Sorry, I was actually just interrupted by UPS knocking on the door. But back to Bountiful guys, alongside that floral herbaceous hyenth, you are gonna have this kind of powdery, woody sandalwood touch going on, along with a very earthy oak moss as well, which does give it this kind of masculine touch going on to balance out that floral aspect to it as well. So if you are afraid of florals, do not be afraid of this one because the other notes like the oak moss, some of the resinous qualities as well in the mid, and alongside, of course, that sandalwood woodiness, it does balance out perfectly in the middle of this stuff. Finally making our way into the base of Bountiful is where I think this fragrance is like the signature touch of the entire composition is that base because you are gonna get this very woody, dry, almost dirty, earthy vetiver note going on. So this is kind of like your citrus, vetiver, think of something like Raja Parfums Elysium. Even though it's not even close to Elysium, it just gives off that citrus vetiver kind of a genre of fragrance. So I will say you have to be a fan of vetiver to actually enjoy this one because the vetiver is the note that you're going to be smelling the majority of the lifetime of Bountiful. So if you're not a fan of vetiver, you might not like this fragrance. Just keep that in the back of your mind. And if you're not really familiar with vetiver, like I said, it's earthy, dirty, this one is dry, sometimes it can smell wet and a little bit grassy, but it does smell very rugged and does give it a distinctive kind of aroma going on. And I know you do have other notes like patchouli, cedarwood, and musk in the base of here, but primarily to me, I'm getting mostly that vetiver and possibly a little bit of patchouli, which kind of just go hand in hand with the vetiver note because they're both very earthy. Now for the best seasons to wear Bountiful if you decide to get a bottle. For me personally, guys, I'm rocking this one in the fall, spring, and summertime. Not necessarily the winter, especially when it gets extremely cold outside. I personally just don't think it has that umph to it. Not many like very, very dark, heavy notes going on either the push to the cold weather. However, the spring, fall, and summer is gonna work flawlessly. But at the end of the day, this is sort of a versatile signature scent worthy fragrance. And if you only wanna get one fragrance, you could absolutely rock it all four seasons without a problem. But there are better options for the cold winters. Occasion, this is where I respect this fragrance because it's the sort of fragrance where you could dress down in like a hoodie like I'm wearing right now, even like shorts, some jeans, something like that, even a t-shirt but you can actually dress this one up very nicely in like a formal attire wear maybe a suit a tuxedo a button up going to like a nice event of course if you look at kind of like the marketing behind this one it would definitely picture a more formal kind of fragrance and it definitely gives off a classy sophisticated vibe about it could also be perfect for going on a date but i kind of picture wearing this one during the daytime rather than nighttime if you're going to any like classy events during the day this is going to be perfect atlantis would probably be better for like a night kind of date out because of how fruity it is and maybe even a little bit more sexy than this one this is just more classy and sophisticated and mature as well for gender, this is without a doubt a masculine-leaning fragrance. I don't smell anything feminine about this at all. Despite the florals in the mid, it does not go feminine by any means. A very like confident, masculine, gentleman kind of fragrance is what I picture when I smell this fragrance. This sort of gives off like a, a guy that's a CEO, an entrepreneur, makes a lot of money, and is around important people. This is the kind of fragrance that guy's rocking. And that leads us into age groups. Obviously, everything I've kind of been talking about up to this point of the review does obviously lean mature, and that's the case with this fragrance. It's a very 
mature kind of a gentleman grown up fragrance that is primarily coming from that heavy dose of the oak moss and the vetiver they're both very old school notes used in like men's fragrances back in like the 60s 70s etc and actually when i'm smelling this one right now it actually kind of smells like old money like some guy that's rich and made his money the hard way and the old school way that's the vibe that this gives off like some dude maybe living in a castle driving maybe in a rolls royce or even a classic rolls royce something like that is literally who i picture wearing this one i don't picture like a youthful guy maybe even like a teenager it just doesn't give off that vibe. Atlantis is a much more youthful fragrance compared to this without a doubt. So if you smelled Atlantis from Blue Atlas and you thought maybe it was a little bit too juvenile and playful, you might wanna actually check this one out if that was you. So touching on the performance with longevity from my testing, I did get slightly below average performance from this one. I got maybe up to that six hour mark of longevity. And to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more from this fragrance when it comes to the longevity of it. I was slightly disappointed. Now for the projection, it was also moderate. It did push off of the skin fairly nicely for the first couple hours. And then it started to dry down to somewhat of a skin scent and somebody it's gonna have to be very close in your bubble to smell it on you but at the end of the day i don't think blue atlas was trying to make a nuclear like beast mode fragrance i literally think they were just making this fragrance for the classy guy that goes to nice events with very very important people and i don't think when you're going to a high-end event like that around maybe like older guys you're not going to want to wear something so strong where it just kind of like rubs everybody the wrong way around you so not necessarily the worst performance but i was expecting a little bit better so that's gonna do it for my review of the newest blue atlas bountiful let me know down below if you tried the original atlantis if you also tried bountiful which one do you prefer and what are your thoughts on this one if you got your nose on it but besides that leave a like subscribe down below if you haven't already and of course i'll catch all of you back here in my next upload take care everybody